Hello everybody and welcome to our video on applying supplier credits to bills within QuickBooks Online. My name is Tom and I'm a Cloud Accounting Specialist here at PJCO and I'll be talking you through how to allocate these supplier credits to the bills. So there are a couple of different ways to get bills into QuickBooks Online, whether that be via receipt bank or auto entry or manually. So here I'm going to create a manual one. So I've just gone to new and bill. And then I'm going to select the supplier. So I'm just going to click on my list and select Cloud Accounts Limited. Any information that we've got in the supplier account for Cloud Accounts Limited will populate in here. Um, I'm now going to pick the bill date and the due date. You can then add a bill number and location. This box will only show if you've got locations turned on as an extra layer of reporting. So next, I'm going to select the category, which will be accountancy. I'll then put in the amount, which we're going to make £1,000 with 20% VAT and inclusive of VAT, as we see just above the mouse now where it says amount being inclusive. Again, we can get some extra reporting in here if we have customers and projects turned on and classes turned on as well. So I'll just add those in there. Once we're happy with that, we can click save and close down in the bottom right corner. And then the next stage will be to create the supplier credit. So again, this can be inputted via auto entry or receipt bank as well. But for the purposes of this video, I'm going to create a supplier credit within QuickBooks Online. And I'll go to new and supplier credit, select the same supplier, so Cloud Accounts Limited. I'm going to select the date for the supplier credit as today and put the location in there too. The category will be for the same as what the initial bill relates to. And I'm going to make this for £200 inclusive of 20% VAT. And I'm going to assign it to the same projects and classes as the bill that we applied. So once you're happy with that, you can click save and close. And then the next stage will be to go to the supplier account for the supplier. So if we go to the expenses tab and then suppliers, it will bring up a long list of suppliers. And when it loads, we would be able to see a search box up here. And I'm just going to scroll down and find Cloud Accounts Limited. And once we're in here, it will show all bills and bill payments and as well as supplier credits for this supplier. So next to the applicable bill, I'm going to click Make a Payment. And when we click on Make a Payment, it's going to bring up all bills that QuickBooks thinks we will be wanting to pay. So we don't want to pay that other one that's open. We just want to mark a payment for this new one that we created. So at the top at the moment, the amount said 800 because that would be how much you pay to make up a difference between the supplier credit and the bill. But for this time being, we're just going to say that the supplier credit is the only payment. So we want it to be zero amount paid with 200 amount to apply. Once you've done that, we can click save and close. And when we go back into the bill at the end, we'll be able to see that one payment has been made against the bill and we've got a remaining balance of 800 pounds. Thank you for watching.